Yeah, so today we will try to discuss you know, few fundamental things about this network monitoring tools. I hope you are already familiar with this network monitoring tools during your work, I mean the lab work. But anyhow, let us try to discuss that once again so that it will be recorded and you know useful for others also. So uh, the, the basic agenda in this, we are going to talk more about the network monitoring tools so that the introduction to network monitoring tools, what are the different tools we use for monitoring the network traffic and uh, in that network traffic, uh, how the packets are captured by these tools and how they are going to be analyzed, what is there inside the, you know, the packet. So that we'll try to discuss and then uh, some of the uh, you know, uh, very interesting tools like Wireshark and, you know, Nmap that we'll try to discuss in this. So, the in this uh, network monitoring tools, first we talk about the network security uh, topologies, which we already discussed in the previous few lectures. So, the common tools that are used for this network security, uh, security monitoring uh, that includes your network, protocol analyzers uh, such as your uh, Wireshark, you might have used that Wireshark, right? Uh, the the Wireshark tool and your TCP dump on our Kali Linux and uh, CyberOps operation. And this, uh, you know, TCP uh, and, you know, some security information and event management systems, we call SIMP. It is also the common for the security, you know, analysts to uh, really unlock files and simple network management protocols called, you know, SNMP. And for network behavior uh, discoveries, so the practically all systems generate the log files to record and communicate their operations in the network. So by closely monitoring the log files, a security analyst can gather extremely valuable information. So that is the SNMP, the, uh, the simple network management protocol, which we already discussed, that allows the analyst to request and receive the information about the operations of your network devices, like, you know, switch or your routers or other, you know, the uh, multi-layer switch uh, devices. So it is another a good tool for monitoring the behavior of your network. So there are some common network security monitoring tools so that we'll try to observe that. But this security in network security topology, as we discussed, uh, for securing your network infrastructure, uh, the first we consider the firewalls so then the intrusion detection systems and intrusion prevention systems and your endpoint security software to protect the network so these methods and the techniques used to introduce the automated monitoring uh, uh, of your network security so uh, by creating some security alerts and automatically blocking some offensive devices. And one of our, you know, the student colleague has given a presentation on this by the automated security, automated network monitoring tool using DevOps. So that was very interesting topic in that. And for large networks, an extra layer of your protection will be added for other devices. So these firewalls and intrusion prevention systems, they are basically a pre-configured. So any traffic which is coming out from outside network to your inside the network at the edge router level, they try to filter those packets based on predefined rules. If the rules are matching, then those packets will be allowed inside the pack, uh, network or else they will simply drop at the edge router level itself. So in this, uh, as we said that there are, uh, you know, two common methods for monitoring uh, the network traffic. Uh, one is your network tabs, or sometimes it is also known as your the test access points. And another one is the traffic mirroring, which is using your port analyzers. 
port analyzer that means here it is going to examine the port of your tcp or your udp ports or other porting mirroring will be done so then in this network uh, you know the protocol analyzer so what will be there that will try to discuss uh, what is what is the network taps are there in this case so in this infrastructure if you see the implementation of your tap in the you know simple network here there is a public network here another public network is here in between that you are having you know the the firewalls as we discussed and you are having the intermediate or the internal router for this network or we call this as your edge router so in between your firewall and your network tap you know in the internal router we keep a network tab so this network tab is a monitoring device actually so whatever the traffic is coming from uh, one network to another network that traffic is basically uh, you know captured by this network monitoring device that is the rx data stream <coughs> and your the tx uh, data stream so it is defined as your transmit data stream and your uh, the rx data stream means a router and the the received data stream the transmit data stream and received i mean the uh, received data stream both are going to be observed by or monitored by these devices so uh, this device ensure that all the data arriving at this monitoring device uh, in a real time system that will analyze that you know whether that packets which are coming inside and going outside are uh, the uh, legitimate packets or any the malicious packets that will be identified here so these taps are uh, sometimes fail uh, the safe so which means that the the traffic between these firewalls and internal router uh, is not affected so this is the the basic uh, functionality of your uh, the uh, tap uh, part here so in this uh, case uh, uh, you know uh, the what you call the I, this simulation is not working yeah so uh, you know uh, here we can just notice here that uh, the tap uh, simultaneously um, you know sends both the uh, transmit data stream and your routers receiving data stream to an uh, the internal router on separate uh, dedicated channels so this ensures that all data arrives at the monitoring device in real time so therefore the network performance is not affected or you know degraded by this monitoring uh, 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 the connections so these taps are uh, you know uh, these are the the internet for the i mean search for the uh, you know internet uh, for more information about the net scout tabs so there are different types of tabs are there you may browse it on the internet that the net scout uh, tab so these are you know special devices are uh, so these uh, net scout tabs for your uh, utp ethernet and fiber ethernet and serial links these tabs are used this so this is one of the example for that and another you know one which we are doing that you know observe in this network monitoring is your traffic mirroring and your spamming one so in this traffic mirroring the network switches uh, you know the segments that the network uh, you know the network switch segments that network by the design so this limits the amount of your traffic uh that is visible to the network monitoring devices because capturing data for network monitoring uh, requires all traffic to be captured so the special techniques must be 
employed to bypass the network segmentation uh, that imposed by the network switches. So here the, uh, the port monitoring like you know TCP or the UDP port monitoring, uh, UDP is you know the port. So this port monitoring, monitoring is one of these techniques that comes under your traffic mirroring and your span. So this will be supported by many enterprise switches. So this port monitoring enables the switch to copy frames that are received on one or more ports to a switch port uh, analyzer. We call that your, you know, the, uh, the span uh, analyzer. So this span port um, uh, that is you know, connected to any analysis devices, analyzing devices that will take the copy. That means if we have a public internet here and that is connected to any edge router suppose and from that edge router sorry the any switch inside the network and you know other you know devices connected to this so the the span is connected here so whatever the packets coming from and going out they are one copy of that is received by this span and try to analyze that so that that will not affect the traffic flow from uh, inside network to your outside network and outside network to your inside network. So in this table you can see, uh, you can identify uh, the terms which are used by this, uh, you know, the span uh, or the, the traffic monitoring uh, devices. One is ingress traffic. So that means the traffic that enters the switch, inside switch. and the uh, the egress traffic means that traffic which is leaving or exiting the switch and another terminology which we use the source port uh, you know the is the span that source ports are monitored as your traffic entering them uh, you know uh, inside your switch whereas your destination port means traffic which is leaving that switch so the, the you will see this in this uh, uh, figure, in this diagram, you can check it out that the switch that interconnects two hosts and mirrors the traffic to an intrusion detection system here. So uh, the host one and your host two disconnecting these two and having, uh, you know, the at this switch, you are having this, the traffic monitoring, a uh, traffic mirroring one. So this uh, to an, the intrusion detection system where intrusion detection sensor is your predefined ruled configured uh, one. So in this, if you, if you uh, closely observe that, the switch will forward this ingress traffic on your uh, the ethernet uh, port of your F0, the first ethernet port of F0 by 1 and the egress traffic on your the ethernet port of your uh, the first Ethernet port of your F0 by 2 to the destination span port of your uh, uh, the 0, the gigabit Ethernet port at 0 by 1 here. So this, this port is going to connect your intrusion detection system, whereas your packet on, uh, on this particular port, uh, when the switch is receiving the source span port, or means any packets that will one copy will go to this the management server the intrusion detection server so the association between source ports and the destination port is called your the span the source port this port and this port you called as your span so in a single session one or multiple ports can be monitored uh, so on some uh, switches the session traffic can be copied to more than one destination port actually. So alternatively a source virtual LAN can be specified in which all ports in the source virtual LAN becomes the sources of your span traffic. So each span session can have ports or virtual LANs as source but not both at a time. So the what we need to you know remember here is the uh, the variation of your span called your remote span uh, 
that enables a network administrator to use the flexibility of your virtual lands to monitor traffic on the remote switches and uh, the simple spans are used to monitor the traffic inside the uh, uh, the same network path i mean uh, we can say the local network path so in network uh, security monitoring tools as we just you know discussed that there will be uh, the common tools which we just mentioned for network analyzing network protocol analyzing purpose so network protocol means we use it uses the ip addresses right network protocol use the ip addresses so this wireshark or your tcp dump is used to analyze this ip packets which you are already you know the examined with that one, right the ip segment packets and another uh, uh, tool uh, important tool is uh, your the security information and event management tool these are two different tools and you have the netflow also that is another tool which is available on our uh, the kali linux also so this is you know it is common for the security analyst any of the security analyst to analyze the protocols by using these tools netflow or wireshark or tcp dump and another tool is your security information and event management this is the more uh, you know the sophisticated tool you can say here so in this case the network protocol analyzer tool that which you already experienced with this the wireshark so this network protocol analyzer that the packet sniffer application we say so this network protocol or protocol analyzers are just programs used to capture traffic and protocol analyzer shows uh, what is happening on the network often through a graphical user interface so the analyst can use the application to see the network exchanges uh, down to the packet level so if a computer has been uh, infected with the malware and is currently attacking uh, other computers in the network the analyst can see that clearly by capturing the real time network traffic and analyzing the packets so not only are network protocol analyzers used for security analysis purpose but you know uh, there are also very useful uh, for the network troubleshooting uh, software and uh, protocol development and the education purpose so for instance in security forensics the security analyst may attempt to uh, reconstruct an uh, incident from uh, relevant packet captured so one of the tool is the wireshark as we said so this wireshark in this you know you already experienced in this so this wireshark is a very you know popular network protocol uh, analyzer tool that is used in the, uh, windows as well as your linux and your you know uh, the mac uh, operating system environments but this wireshark is free software also like your kali linux or uh, uh, other operating systems and that can be downloaded and used by anyone so it is very useful tool for learning about the network protocol communication and you know network protocol analyzer uh, skills are the essentially the cyber uh, security uh, skills so in this uh, you know if any packet is captured you can see that you know which packets they are belonging to whether they are belonging to your tcp connection packet or your udp connection packet or you are you know dns packet so it it gives the complete information which traffic is flowing from inside and outside of your uh, network and once you select any of this packet here which is captured then you are able to analyze that which frame it is using what is the ethernet address which internet protocol is used transmission control protocol is used so you can analyze what data is going on so the frames that are captured by this wireshark are saved in the uh, 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 in a we call the the packet captured or pcap file so uh, this uh, pcap files contains the frame information uh, interface information packet length the timestamps and even uh, uh, you know the 
uh, entire binary file that are sent across the network. So uh, this Wireshark performing a long term packet capturing procedure that large uh, PCAP files. So this Wireshark can also the, uh, you know, open the files that contain uh, the uh, captured traffic from other software such as your, uh, you know, the TCP uh, dump. So those packets are also analyzed by this Wireshark. Uh, th so the popular, uh, this TCP uh, dump is actually a popular uh, Unix uh, like system such as your Linux or uh, TCP dump is a powerful utility with the numerous command line uh, you know the option so the the example for that you, you might have already experienced in our uh, the uh, cyber ops uh, machine that when you uh, logged into the cyber ops machine by just giving the command line that TCP dump and you know the the switches like i and h1 uh, the uh, uh, the interface on which interface and give certain number of this so from this it finds based on this uh, you know it it finds the it listen to the interface of your uh, uh, the switch or the router and from there it can identifies what is the ip address of that a particular file, I mean the, the, the packet, and uh, it also gives the timestamps and what type of packet it is. The packet is ICMP packet, and uh, inside it captures what is the ID of that, uh, you know, the uh, request packet and what is the sequence number, what is the length of that. So the entire detail of your packet will be given by this TCP dump. So compared to Wireshark, this TCP dump is you know more powerful so this uh, for windows like you know for for uh, tcp dump like in linux for windows it will be the window dump will be there uh, for microsoft windows and another tool the interesting tool is uh, netflow tool for monitoring so for these are all your protocol monitoring ones. Protocol monitoring means they capture the IP packets and they try to analyze those packets. So this NetFlow is another powerful tool. Uh, it is, uh, you know, the, the Cisco operating system based uh, uh, technology. Uh, so this NetFlow is the standard for collecting the IP operational data in IP networks. So NetFlow is now supported on non Cisco platforms also. That is, you know, IP flow information experts, uh, that IP uh, FLX, we say, is a version of your net flow that is an IETF standard protocol. So this net flow can be used for network and security monitoring purposes. Not only network traffic, as well as your security purposes. And this net flow is used for your uh, network planning and traffic analysis. It provides a complete audit trail of basic information about every IP flow forwarded on a device. So this information includes the source and destination uh, device IP information. So the time of the communication and the amount of data transferred from inside network to outside network and this NetFlow does not capture the actual content on the flow, but the NetFlow functionality is often compared to a telephone bill type. So the bill identifies the destination number, the time and duration of the call, but it does not display the content of your telephone conversation type. Whereas your TCP dump and your wind dump or your wire shock, they capture the content of the packet also. So although this NetFlow stores the flow information in a local cache on the device, it should always be configured to forward data to a NetFlow collector, which stores the NetFlow data. So there are a number of third party tools for uh, you know, analysis of your NetFlow data, uh, uh, which are used. 
So let us see that, you know, how it works in a small network. Uh, we have two hosts here, PC1 and PC2. So PC1 is connected to PC2 through a switch and switch connected to uh, the input po output port of, I mean, input port of your NetFlow enabled router where this NetFlow is configured. And then that output port is connected to your switch 2 that is connected to your PC2. So in this, if, if you observe the PC, uh, the, the flow of this, the NetFlow can monitor the application uh, connection by uh, the uh, the tracking byte and packet counts for the individual applications uh, by this NetFlow collector and the analyzer software here. So it then pushes this uh, statistics over uh, to and the external server called your you know NetFlow uh, collector. So in this example, this NetFlow statistics to perform the advanced uh, functions including your flow status, you know, uh, uh, stitching, another one is flow uh, deduplication and you are the NAT stat, uh, stitch. So this flow stitching, it is a group, it, it groups the individual entries in flow. That means every packet, the, the, the number of packets which are coming from different ports will be collected, grouped and that will be pushed to your NetFlow collector for analyzing those packets, where your flow uh, deduplication is it filters the duplicate incoming entries from multiple NetFlow clients and whereas your NAT network address translation touching is uh, simplifies the the entries of your you know private uh, uh, network packets and public network packets so these are the uh, uh, you know basic functionalities of your NetFlow which is used but you now uh, compared to your TCP dump and your Wireshark, NetFlow is not uh, giving them much information. So another uh, uh, the, the uh, network monitoring tool uh, is your security information event management tool. So this is more uh, uh, interesting uh, part of this network uh, uh, monitoring tool, this one. So network security analysts must quickly and accurately assess the significance of any security events and answer a uh, few critical questions like who is associated with that event and uh, uh, does the user have access to other sensitive resources in the network and does the uh, this event represent a potential uh, the compliance issues or does the user have access to the intellectual property or sensitive information and is the user authorized to access that resources? So this kind of some critical questions will be answered by uh, you know, uh, this uh, security uh, information event management system. So to answer these questions, it works the, as SIEM works better and another uh, tool uh, for uh, monitoring this is another one is we called SOAR the security orchestration automation and the response so in this SIEM uh, is a technology used in enterprise organization to provide the real time reporting and the long term analysis of security events so the network devices including like your firewalls the uh, um, or your uh, uh, the email security appliances or your web security appliances, your routers, uh, switches, uh, servers and host are configured to send log events to the uh, this security uh, information event management system software. So this SIEM software correlates the millions of uh, uh, the events using the machine learning and the special uh, analytics software to identify traffic that should be investigated. So that is one of the most interesting part for research also by how to apply the machine learning concepts uh, in this uh, SIME to correlate means captured huge amount of data and analyze that from various network devices as mentioned like from your servers, routers, hosts or your firewalls or your you know 
the other appliances like the uh, what you call the the email uh, security appliances or your web security appliances so this sime system uh, which includes uh, some uh, you know important functions that one is your forensic analysis so the this forensic analysis is uh, 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 is able to uh, uh, it is having the ability to search the log uh, details of the user uh, on the network and what kind of events performed by that user at the end device so that logs and event records from the sources throughout the organization means any end devices are there from there not only end devices even from the uh, network devices it collects the information so it provides more complete information for forensic analysis that which at what time the user logged into the network what event what activity started at which time means the time stamp time frame is also mentioned in that another one is the correlation as we said so this correlation functionality uh, of this sime that examines the logs and events from different systems whereas this forensics that collects the logs and event records from different sources and the speeding of detecting the and reacting the security threats whether uh, any misbehavior and the, the malicious nodes are there in the network or not that will be detected by this software and there is a aggregation that reduce the volume of event data by consolidating any duplicate events are happening at uh, means duplicate packets are transmitting from inside network to outside network so that duplicate packet a transmission can be done because of in the case of your udp connection uh, or in the case of your tcp connection also so what happens if the in tcp connection especially if the acknowledgement doesn't received by your sender within a given time then the the sender assumes that the packet is not you know a packet may be dropped by the network so they try to retransmit that packet but actually that packet because of delay the packet acknowledgement may not received by your uh, the receiver another one is reporting so reporting the present uh, presence uh, the correlated and aggregated event data in real time monitoring and the long term summaries so this simp provides details on the source of suspicious activities like the user information such as username authentication status and location and it also uh, provides the details about the device information such as the uh, manufacturer what model and os versions their mac addresses uh, network connection methods whether the wired connection or wireless connection and their location in the network by you, by observing the network address part of your ip addressing and then uh they also provides simp also provides the the posture information such as whether the device is uh, uh compliant with the security policy and has up to date antivirus file uh, files and is updated with the latest operating system patches or not so those information will be provided by this uh, simp system so uh, uh so in this uh so we have another system is your security orchestration automation and response system soar so in this soar the security uh, the soar uh, is enhance the uh, functionalities of your siem so it helps security teams investigate the security incidents and the adds enhanced data gathering and a number of functionalities that aid in security incident responses so the solutions of this soar uh, solutions are it provides the case management tools that allow cyber security personnel to research and investigate incidents frequently by in, uh, by integrating threat intelligence uh, into the network security platform and uh gives the solution to use artificial intelligence to detect the uh, incidents and aid in 
the incident analysis and response and it also gives solution for the automate complex incident response procedure and investigation which are potentially labor intensive tasks that are performed in security operation centers SOC we used to say and staff by the execution run books so these are the playbooks that perform actions such as accessing and analyzing relevant data and taking steps to isolate compromised systems and uh, researching threats to validate uh, the the validate alerts and execute an incident responses and it also offers the the uh, dashboard and reporting the uh, document incident response to uh, improve the uh, the security operation center key performance indicators and can greatly enhance network security for uh, any organizations so these are you know few solutions which provided by these uh, the uh, the SOAR so this SOAR helps the analyst uh, respond to the threat also so this is you know so compared to your TCP dump window dump or your you know Wireshark or your NetFlow your SRA, SIEM and SOAR is the wholesale uh, uh, you know, responsible for not only analyzing the network traffic but also analyzing the security information also. So in this SIEM system uh, the, see, these uh, systems are there are several SIEM systems exist in today's uh, market but the solar winds security event management system uh, and uh, the Splunk enterprise security uh, are the two of the more popular uh, uh, proprietary SIEM systems uh, used by your security uh, operation centers so uh, in this uh, you know uh, in, in today's topic we will uh, use an open source product called the security onion that includes the ELK suit for the uh, the security information event management functionality so this ELK is and uh, the acronomy for three products from the elastics one is the uh, the elastic search that is document oriented uh, full text search engine so uh, I, I you know we uh, I think in our laboratory we already provided this security onion operating system for that which uh, having this inbuilt functionality of this um, SIEM functionality is there for monitoring and uh, the third one is the third product sorry the second product is your log stats product which the pipeline the processing a system that connects the input to your outputs and another one is the Kibana that is the browser based analytic and the search dashboard for elastic so these are uh, one but apart from this there are the important systems as we said the one is your solar wind SIEM systems uh, which is you know basically used by the solar winds which is used by the, the bigger enterprises and another uh, one is your the Splunk enterprise system so these two are uh, there they are basically used by the larger uh, what you call the organizations to operate their security operation centers so these are the, you know the, the uh, examples of your security monitoring uh, tools for various operations right so now let me you know quickly ask you you know a few questions that you know uh, what allows the analyst to request uh, and you know uh, they receive the information about the the operation of your network devices that means you know uh, you can say that uh, you know for any uh, network analyst uh, they simply use this SNMP so that SNMP uh, the you know the that will gives the operation of your network devices information so what kind of operation is going on and whereas your Wireshark gives 
okay, you know, captures the frames that are saved in a file uh, that contains the frame information, whereas your NetFlow tool uh, can be used for network and security monitoring and network planning and traffic analysis purpose, whereas your TCP or uh, dump, they are also used for network monitoring and security purpose. But the SIEM uh, tool, that is the, uh, the security, a more sophisticated one, it's having a lot of functionalities in that one. So different tools are used. So by naming, you can say that, what are the network monitoring tools means for monitoring your firewalls or everything. One is your TCP, uh, I mean the NetFlow is one tool. Another one is your SNMP, your TCP dump, and you know, uh, you have the wind dump also for Windows uh, platform. You have the Wireshark, tool, and you have the more sophisticated systems like your SIEM, that security information event management, another one is SOAR tools. So these are the network monitoring tools which are used to not only monitoring the network traffic but also the security issues. So yeah, so these are the some of the uh, the important tools one should know that you know which tools are used for network monitoring so yeah so with this i would like to stop the session here we'll try to discuss the next topic in the next class that you know what is the, what are the foundation for your attacking that we will discuss in the next class okay. so. <coughs>